welcome back to the compliance kitchen this is sylvia and today i want to look at a brand new determination that came from ofac today uh, which is february 24th and uh, it concerns metals and mining sector of the russian economy so before we get into it i just want to uh, quickly point out that what you hear on Compliance Kitchen is not legal advice and it should not be used as such. Now going to the determination, so this was pursuant to Executive Order 14024, which is I believe 2021 uh, Executive Order. And again it concerns metals and mining sector uh, of the Russian Federation. And uh, more specifically, the determination was to uh, apply section 1A, one little i of the executive order 14024 to the metals and mining sector of the Russian Federation economy. And so therefore, any person determined uh, to operate or have operated in this sector uh, will now be subject to sanctions pursuant to the section 1a little i in that executive order uh, which is uh, blocking of property basically that's what that section of the eo uh, talks about uh, ofac issued uh, very quickly uh, a faq uh, it is number 1117 or 1117 and uh, the question was uh, my company provides goods or services to or trades with persons that operate or have operated in the metals and mining sector in Russia. So what does it mean now? Does it, does it mean that my company is uh, risking uh, sanctions by OFAC? And so in the FAQ, OFAC tells us that this uh, February 24 determination Again, it's uh, pursuant to the Executive Order 14024, uh, authorizes sanctions on any person that is determined by the government uh, to operate or have operated in the metals and mining sector uh, of the Russian economy. Uh, OFAC also points out that non-US persons may also be exposed to sanctions for activities uh, with persons that are blocked uh, pursuant to the 14024 executive order. And there is more on this uh, if you want to dig into it a little bit deeper on FAQ 980. And this includes persons blocked following a determination that such persons, and of course persons means individuals or could be companies, uh, operate or have operated in these uh, sectors. Now, uh, OFAC does point out that they do not intend to target persons uh, for operating in this uh, metals and mining sectors uh, where the provision of uh, their goods and services is solely for uh, safety and care of personnel, uh, protection of human life, prevention of uh, accidents or injuries, maintenance, uh, necessary repairs uh, to avoid significant or environmental damage or activities that are related to environmental mitigation or remediation. So these activities are not, uh, OFAC does not intend to target these activities under these uh, restrictions uh, from this determination that they issued today. Now, they give us some examples of what such um, activities could look like. Again, those are just examples, so they're not uh, all inclusive. But they say that uh, it would include personal protective equipment, safety devices, ventilation systems, alarm systems. Um, examples of services uh, could include rescue and accident response. Uh, cleaning, safety inspections, and services necessary for use of the uh, goods that they uh, gave us as examples, like the PPE, safety devices, and so forth. Also, OFAC points out in this uh, FAQ that non-US persons generally do not risk exposure to US blocking sanctions 
uh, under the Executive Order 14024 uh, for engaging in transactions with blocked persons, including in the metals and mining sector, where those transactions would not require a license if uh, it was a U.S. person that was uh, engaging in the transactions. So they give us an example. Uh, Non-U.S. persons generally do not risk exposure to uh, U.S. blocking sanctions uh, if they engage in transactions in the mining and metals sector if uh, such transactions uh, would be uh, normally authorized uh, by general license uh, 8F, as in Frank. Uh, that one authorizes certain energy, uh, energy-related transactions, or if those activities would be normally authorized by general license 6C, uh, and that license authorizes certain transactions uh, related to the production, uh, manufacturing, sale, transport, or provision of medicine, medical devices, uh, including certain industrial isotopes uh, that are used in nuclear medicine. So if you want to take a closer look at this uh, interesting development, this is a FAQ 1117 that's uh, of course available to you on OFAX website. Uh, under the financial sanctions section. And then you go to frequently asked questions and that's where uh, this, this question is answered. So, um, okay, well, I just thought it was interesting because uh, the government is promising that they will continue to expand sanctions uh, on Russia as the uh, situation in Ukraine is uh, not, getting, not getting better. The war continues, as you all know. And so... Um, I would expect to see something similar also under the European sanctions regime and very likely the UK as well. So that's it for today. I hope that everybody uh, will have a great weekend and I will uh, be back uh, with you guys next week. Thanks for stopping by in the Compliance Kitchen as always. Mm -hmm.